What's up, Pirates? Ray Talks here with Awaken TCG, and today we're going to get a little taste of Red Purple Law. Yes, you heard it here, Red Purple Law. We got some gameplay for you guys. We're going to go through some cards, show off some of, uh, you know, the combos, and we're going to go ahead and get right into it. This is from a Japanese live stream at a flagship. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. And I will be showing off the cards and, you know, reading a little bit about them as we go on here. So, uh, we have the law going first. This law uh, effect, go ahead and show it up on the screen here. Uh, it reads, uh, Don, uh, activate main once per turn. Dawn minus three. Return one of your opponent's characters with 3,000 power or less to the bottom of the deck. Then play one four cost or lower from your hand. So, you know, a little play on the shambles effect there. Uh, he, so, uh, the law passed. Now we got the Rebecca using leader ability on turn one. He's going to go ahead and choose one of those cards there. It looks like it's a Luffy or a... I'm not too familiar with that other card there, but he goes with the, the Luffy. So. <coughs> All right, then he plays his searcher for one dawn. Yeah, I was watching this live stream and uh, I definitely saw this game and I was intrigued about the red purple law and so I was like, you know what, I'm going to make a video on this, show it off and, you know, maybe we can get, uh, you know, some people on this deck because it seems pretty nuts. At least in this matchup here, it, com it you know, completely dominated as you guys are going to shortly see here so now it is turn two the law is at three dawn Let's see what he can do here so he is going to looks like he's gonna swing so yeah he's gonna swing here at leader for five thousand all right, the Rebecca is going to go ahead and block out for 1k. The Law will pop a Rush Zoro. A Rush Zoro, you know, vanilla Rush Zoro. Swing at leader for another 5,000. Let's see what the Rebecca does. All right, looks like he's debating on countering out or not, and he does. So he eventually gives him a, a card there, and then La will use his ability to bottom deck the uh, searcher, and he will play. Oh, interesting. So he plays a Shachi and Penguin here for four Dawn, which reads, on play, if there are three or less Dawn on your field, you may add up to two Dawn from your Dawn deck as rested. So there he did La ability, Dawn minus three, to put him back to zero Dawn. But then with the Shachi and Penguin ability, plays it on play. If you have uh, three or less Dawn, you, you get two from your Dawn deck rested. So he went from three minus three. Then boom, with that card back to two. So he only net minus one Dawn, which is pretty, pr it's pretty good uh, play there. So you're basically using the effect to bottom deck something and get a four drop on board for Dawn minus one. So that's pretty, pretty efficient there. Okay, it looks like um, we have just a, that's familiar what card that is here. But we are highlighting the law here, so uh, he played a f uh, the Rebecca played a four drop past turn as Rebecca cannot attack. So we're gonna go ahead and see what happens here. So the law is going to use the Shachi and Penguin, he's gonna swing 5k at the Rebecca. The Rebecca is gonna start finally taking some life here. Uh, it looks like no trigger. He is gonna go ahead and swing another five. Okay, he's going to counter out, and then another five with the leader ability, or leader ability, just a plain uh, swing with the leader, and then let's see here, so it looks like he's going to tap four for something here, okay, so he's going to play uh, a law, which states, on play, give up to one of your opponent's characters minus 2,000 power during your turn, I will have this up on the screen so you guys can read it as well. So he gave his 5k body minus 2,000, making him a 3k. So then he plays the law ability, bottom decking it, and then playing a Beppo. So this Beppo says, on play or when attacking, if the number of Dawn cards on your opponent's field is greater than the number of Dawn cards on your field, add one Dawn card from your Dawn deck to your cost area. Rested. And so he Dawn minus three, played a Beppo, got the bottom deck, got an extra Dawn off of it. And so 
So this looks like this looks like if any slow deck, uh, you know, is is up against this deck that is just gonna have a real trouble keeping a board up, and and like especially Rebecca, like you can't clear units with your leader because you do not have a leader attack, and so here now we see this law with a full board and with a Rebecca that can't do anything to clear the board. So the Rebecca is definitely in a tough spot here. Um, so he plays the Colosseum, uses the Rebecca effect to draw one. And I think it's a little too late here. Definitely got the Colosseum out so you can swing at a character. Right, he has, he has a Zoro and the Shachi rested, so he can like summon something and maybe get a swing off. Okay, pays three. Pays three for a 5k body. Um, and then, yeah, so he's in a swing. He's debating on the swing here. Definitely debating the swing, okay. Um, yeah, he's in a rough spot, so yeah, definitely got to think that through. So he's going to swing at the Zoro, and he is debating on if he wants to counter out here. So 6k at the 5k Zoro. He ends up just taking it, okay. Okay, back to Law. He is uh, back to Hordon, right? So yeah, if you're doing stuff with Law, you're never going to really have too much uh, Donna. So. その、ある程度の状況で耐えたら急に巻き返すことになっちゃう。なるほど。前回のね、赤村さきろもそういう感じだった。そうそう、そうですね。序盤はめちゃくちゃ勝てるように見えてるけど、その、もうまず当たってい
Uh, he's going to go ahead and swing at the Beppo, because that ramps are done, so it's a good, uh, it's a good choice there. He's going to go for Luffy ability, try to get another um, 5k body off of the Law's board, which is probably his only play. But as you guys can see, like, from the start, like, this Law has consistently, you know, kept his deck moving. And so it's like, that engine is the leader ability, and it's just... And with the Otama and that log card with minus 2,000, any 5k body just leaves. Um, maybe you run some Gordons in there, some Gordons. That's probably um, some good tech cards, so 6k bodies also can get bottom decked. Uh, I know a lot of other decks would probably run 6k bodies, especially Whitebeard. Um, being able to just bottom deck, you know, second turn, they play a 4-drop four, uh, four vanilla 6k body. You, next turn, you Gordon, leader ability, switch the momentum like that. Um, so he ends up using leader ability. To end his turn, he got two uh, units off the board. But now, here's the thing. The law still has the law in his hand. The blocker law. And the opponent has seven cards exactly. So, perfectly in the range for the law effect here. So, we're going to go ahead and see what happens. <laughs> yeah, but so far this match has seemed so one-sided, so one-sided. Um, the Rebecca hasn't shown anything that the Law has not been able to handle. And now this Luffy is not even going to get unrested on his uh, on the opponent's next turn. So it's looking real rough here, um, especially with, with us knowing that the Law player has the 4-drop uh, blocker Law that trashes two cards at seven uh, cards or more. So let's see what he ends up doing here. Speed it up. Okay, so he is going to pay five. So he's going to pay five here for um, Miss All Sunday. And I'll put this up on the board. Miss All Sunday basically uh, add up to one Rest of Dawn uh, to your cost area if you have six or more Dawn. Oh, no. And if you have six or more Dawn, draw one card. So you play her at five Dawn and she instantly draws you a card because she'll give you the six Dawn, right? So if you play her at five exact, she gives you the six Dawn and you draw a card. And it's a hurt, you know, it's her on play effect. And as we can see here, he is going to use leader ability and both pop the law. Pops the law, now he gets to trash two cards. Uh, this Rebecca is just in a really rough spot, really rough spot. Gets rid of a Colosseum and a counter card. So he got one counter card out of that, which is pretty huge. I don't see this uh, Rebecca living uh, past another turn after this turn. Because he could probably take life and counter out. He only has uh, three swings. So he can definitely live this turn, but I don't see him living past, past this turn. So let's see what happens. So he swung five at life. Let's see what he's gonna do here. Okay, I think he takes, or I think he blocks out. So he gives him a 1k. Swings another 5k at life. Thinking about it. And this match went by super fast, super, super fast. This law is pretty insane. So he ended up taking life, and then he goes another 5 with leader. Blocks out, and then... It's pretty much over there. The Rebecca has four cards in hand, a Luffy that's not restanding. Top decks a Luffy to clear two things out of board, but you're already so low on hand. I don't see you getting out of another three swings uh, with Don attached. So we're going to go ahead and fast forward this part here. So he ends up playing the Luffy. Uh, he goes for a swing. He goes for a swing on the... L I don't know if he swings... Oh, yeah. He, so he swings at the, at the law. Uh, he just takes it. He... Trash or he bottom decks seven of his cards from his trash, restands the Luffy, and then he's gonna go ahead and swing again at another unit. Uh, he lets him go, obviously. And then, so now we have three Dawn up, four cards in hand, and a whole lot of attacks that you have to block out of next. Um, is he gonna use the leader ability here? So he pays three for a Kuros, and he swings at the Otama. Which is very interesting, very, very interesting. Um, 
And then he swings uh, at the um, Shachi and, and Peng. Yeah, he swings at the Shachi and Penguin, and he just one Ks out of it. And so now the Rebecca's in a rough spot here. So he has to pop out of this five uh, K. Uh, gives him a card, he knows he's going to attach 7, that's going to give him 2 cards, and then it's game. He concedes there. Um, very interesting play. I think the law used about, uh, let me count here, about 8 cards. Uh, aside from the counters that he used, he used about 8 cards total uh, that whole time. He, run, he won extremely quick. Um, I think, let me see, let's go back a turn. I think this was the start of turn five for the uh, Rebecca player. Um, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. The start of turn five for the Rebecca player and the start of turn six for the, uh, the law player when he swung for lethal. But as you can see here, this law deck has some, in some incredible combos and a lot of great cards for the actual deck. I'm not sure how this plays against the rest of the meta as I haven't seen too much gameplay footage of it versus the other decks as it, it is relatively relatively new as it comes with the new starter deck uh, st10 for uh, opo4 it's the later half of it and so we're going to be getting that you know at the second half of opo4 once we you know get that on release but i think this is a great video to showcase kind of what it can do and you know give us a good idea and in going into the future on how we can use it and how we can develop this type of play to make it even better and so you know, I just wanted to showcase that. Uh, I think that deck is really insane. Just from what I watched here, I'm definitely going to make it and play it against other decks and see how I like it. See if I'm going to play it in OPO4 because uh, as of right now, I think I'm only certain on the purple, not purple. Oh, yeah, it is purple. Purple, green, Dofi. Uh, but this might be my second deck that I'll have to try out. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm enjoying making these daily video uploads for you guys. I hope you guys are liking them as well. Anyways, make sure to like this video, comment down below what you thought about this red purple law deck, subscribe to our channel. We're not stopping the daily uploads. I will see you guys on the next one. You guys have a wonderful day. Peace.